Ladies and gentlemen, federal employees, today we're going to talk about what you need to do right now if you have panicked over the last few years and moved your money all to the G fund in the TSP as a federal employee. If you have done this, there's a few things you need to do ASAP to make sure you're on track to retire the, the way that you want and to stay retired for the rest of your life. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. So good to have you. My name is Dallin Haas. I'm a financial planner who serves federal employees, and I absolutely love doing it. So let's dive in. I get questions all the time, and people on the internet, on YouTube, everywhere say, hey, look, the last few years have been crazy. The last time the market went down, I got scared. I went to the G fund. Now, what do I do? What do I do? So if you're in this boat, if you move to the G fund, maybe you're close to retirement, you got nervous, or whatever it may be, maybe at COVID time, you went to the G fund, whatever it is, if you are mostly in the G fund right now, you're going to want to watch this video. So let's address a few things. Long story short, when the market's starting to, starting to go down or does go down, and someone says, hey, I'm going to move to the G fund, really what they're trying to do is time the market, right? They say, hey, I don't want to be in the market when the market's down. I'm going to wait till it's up. So this is how things normally actually work in practice when people are trying to do this. Let's say, let's say this is the market. It goes, you know, ups and downs over time. Okay. When the market goes down, some people get nervous, right? It's down here. They get nervous and they sell, they get out. Okay. And then the market starts doing well. They're like, okay, things don't seem as scary anymore. I'm going to hop back in. So they hop back in here. So in reality, what they did is the value of their, their investments, their TSP funds went down and they sold at a low price and they were out of the market. So they did not see any of this growth and they waited for the market to come back up and then they bought, right? They moved out of the G fund and into the CSNI, right? And they bought at a high price up here. And then same thing, when the market's starting to struggle, they, they sell when it's slow. Basically, they're, they're selling and buying at the horrible times. It's the worst possible time trying to time the market like most people do, okay? Trying to time the market saying, oh, when, when I see some potential issues, when the market start, starts going down, trying to sell, the odds of you perfectly predicting what the market's going to do and when is very, very slim. Even the professionals, even those that work at the biggest banks out there cannot successfully time the market consistently over time. Now, I do get occasionally those, those comments that, hey, look, I right before the, the crash of 2008 or 2020 or whatever it is, I pulled out, I, I went to the G fund and then it crashed, right? And they're so proud of themselves. And hey, I'm all for those that successfully um, did it, weren't involved in a downwards of the market. However, it, we come to the same problem. Okay, you got out of the market. What do you do now? Because if you're in the G fund, and you stay in the G fund for the rest of your life, let's say, your money's going to actually totally get killed by inflation. Inflation's gonna eat your lunch. The buying power of your money is going to go down well, go down over time. Okay. So the key is okay, let's say you're out of the market, you went to the G fund. When is the right time to get back in? When is the right time to get back into the funds you were in before, whether the CSI fund? When is the right time to get back into the market? And again, in an ideal world, we could all get back in right, right when the market's down, right? But again, we don't know. We don't know when the market is quote unquote down and when it's not going to go down anymore, right? Again, if we could time it perfectly, we'd, we'd put it in right here and then it would grow and we'd let it grow from there. But we don't know. So honestly, this is my advice. If in the last few years you panicked, you moved to the G fund. Find a mix, find your percentages between the different funds, a CSI, GNF, find a mix that you're comfortable with now and into retirement and get back into the market. Get back in the market right now. I don't care when you're watching this, even if this is years after I initially published it, it doesn't matter. The principle is the same. We have no clue when the market's going to do what it's going to do. But we do know if you never get back into the market, your money's going to get killed by inflation. Okay. So again, trying to time it perfectly is so darn difficult. Don't try to do it. Okay. Those that try often do way worse than if they would have just stayed in the market. Okay. So I know it's hard, especially as you approach retirement, but find a mix, find a mix of different funds that you're comfortable with 
now and into retirement. And I've got whole videos on how to invest in retirement. And it's never 100% G fund or very rarely 100% G fund even in retirement. So go check those out. Find the mix that you're comfortable with. Get in the market and ride it out. Over time, your money will build wealth for you. It'll make sure you never run out of money over time that you can maintain your lifestyle throughout your entire retirement. Okay, if you come up with a plan that makes sense for you based on your goals and you execute and you stick to that plan and you don't freak out, even with the ups and downs of the market, which I guarantee will come during your retirement. So I hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you gives you some context on staying in the market and writing out no matter what. If you have a plan, you can be confident in that plan. So hope that's helpful. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.